Hello everyone, I'm Penrose 776 and today I'm here to inform you that, well, Elamine has won. Here she is, and well, it's not Elamine alone doing this, but this Elamine strategy has given me six defeats, six flawless defeats this season, which is the most I've ever had since I started this channel. They use different units, of course, this guy's using Lucina and the Send Air Dun, but it's always Elamine and it's always this far save ascendant Idan. Here we've got Dragon Wall Distant Stance for fancy distant counter, but as a better Brave Hector with the armor effectiveness nullifications, the amount of things you can do to actually break through this unit, especially when you've got that massive bonfire coming back at you, are basically zero. In fact, until recently, I didn't have any idea how to kill this at all. The Lucina is here to, with that future vision and that weapon effect, replace, um, what is it, Wily Fighter, whatever it's called, um, by neutralizing foes' bonuses. So it's saying it's um, immune to buffs and debuffs. Plumeria, of course, double distant guard, sabotage skill, why not, plus extra stat buffs because this is how you build a save ball, stack up just as many stat buffs and stat debuffs as you physically can for running the Love Candelabra for even more support, Sabotage Res. Of course, you're getting World Breaker for that special cooldown as well. Keep adding to the list of effects on our one really strong unit here. Regin may not look like a support build at first because of those attack skills, but you've still got joint drive attack and most importantly the ruse with which she can apply guard and with the dance guard down in fact the whole enemy team. Add all of that together and the number of effects on this Idan is just immense and disgusting and due to Elamine existing, well let's show what happens because the best ways of shutting her down have been in turn shut down and what we're left with is, lo and behold, Dagger gets danced. Lysithia going in first. Lysithia has colorless feud, so it only has the least buffs here out of all our units, but still not enough to make them do any more damage than zero taking the massive bonfire in return, and most units cannot survive that bonfire. Duochrome, zero. Does not stand a shadow of a chance. Look at the buffs Idan is getting here. Duo Dagger, zero, times two. Her weapon is completely shut off by Idan's buff and debuff negation here, and that's the strongest, three of the strongest offense units in the game doing zero damage to her right there. Even if they had enough attack to do significant damage, she still has one massive damage reduction. 40% from Dragon Wall, 30% from Elamine adds up to about 60% overall. Um, two, the ability to just one-shot you out of nowhere. Three, special acceleration plus special deceleration for you. Four, a follow-up prevention, so you need no follow-up as well. And on top of that, her speed is actually kind of ridiculously high. Um, five, there are probably more things I'm forgetting. Um, so basically, if you add all of that together and ask, well, what do I need to actually break this unit? It's pretty silly. It's May my love reach father. not really something you can achieve, because the classic ways of breaking save units, there's two big ways. One, harmonic catria. Two, big pre-charge specials. Elamine shuts down both of those. So what you're left with is 
either find a way to charge your special in combat, or that's it. That's your only option. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's for battle. That you saw me get wrecked. I've got five more battles like this. I'm not going to show them to you because I don't think you want to see the same thing five times. But let's talk about what it takes to beat this. So far in the entire game, I have found exactly two strategies that can beat a turbo buffed Ascendant Adon like this. Strategy one, possibly the easier one to pull off, is Legendary Male Byleth. A legendary Male Byleth can run Water Sweep, and his special cuts through that damage reduction. That's important if you can't cut through that damage reduction, no matter how ridiculous your attack stat is, you are gonna struggle. There are very few green dragon effective weapons, for instance, who you might want to consider, but, you know, they can have 60, 70, 80, 90 base attack. It doesn't matter because she's reducing all that damage so far that they often end up doing just a pitiful amount of actual damage overall. You need a way of cutting through damage reduction, you basically want to be green, and you need big, big power. So, Legendary Male Bioth, he has no fault, he needs to run Water Sweep, because if he doesn't have Water Sweep, he dies. He also needs some form of Special Acceleration, to get through the guard effect that she'll have somehow. It might not necessarily be Ruse every time, but she'll have it somehow because there's a multitude of ridiculous ways to stack up these safe balls. Um, and then the other thing you need to do is stack attack and stack speed. Legendary Male Byleth actually needs to stack speed because otherwise he fails the speed check for Water Sweep and dies. He also needs to stack attack and even with his attack stacked, he needs multiple attacks to actually beat a Sen Idun. With a pretty high attack stat, he can do it in three attacks, so he needs two dances for that. If you push his attack really high, you can get down to two attacks, so one dance. But there is no one rounding her this way, and Legendary Male Byleth is only in season half the time. What are you going to do the other half the time? Well, the other way is Lethality, but Lethality alone isn't enough, and even then you need to find a way to charge it in combat, because pre-charging is vulnerable to Elamine and is vulnerable to pulse tie skills. So you need to charge it in combat. Secondly, you again need to be running preferably a green unit and preferably a green dragon effective unit, something like Cloud Myogi. If you don't have Cloud Myogi or Dragon Slasher, then despite using Lethality, you still need to hit an absurdly high attack check to kill because otherwise you fail. So, what's for play? Um, partially pre-charge Lethality on your Cloud Myogi dagger. You can't fully charge it because that's vulnerable to being pulse tied and also it's, the more units you're using to charge, the more vulnerable you are to Elamine. What we can do is use a staff, something like Grand Scratcher plus Infantry Pulse on a high res staff unit who can out res Elamine to successfully get two charge. That brings uh, Lethality down to two charge, then we can charge that two in combat. What we need is no follow up. We're using Kef as an example here. No follow up, okay, allows us to get that second hit in because we need that second hit. We also need some form of special acceleration and some form of special deceleration for Ascend Idun. My strategy for this would be 
a legendary female Blyleth, running infantry flash. I think that's the skill I'm thinking of. Or, you know, you could also run Flashing Blade on Kath. You've got options, but put that together. And now she just barely kills a Sand Edun. Like, we're talking a couple points of leeway here, and that's using three units together to kill a Sand Edun. And you need to do even more set up from that as well, because you actually need to make sure that Kath attacks in range and you might have to push Kath's attack and speed a little higher to meet those checks and on top of all that well yeah it just gets really silly really fast the other thing you've got to consider you're putting all this effort into beating this one strategy what are you going to do against the sentence Fjorm? what are you going to do against Henriette? <laughs> It just boggles the mind, and both strategies we've used so far um, require legendary units. Those are fine for f three of the four seasons, that means, but there's going to be one season where neither of them are present. And when that one comes around, you are basically just going to have to suck it up as far as I can tell. Um, so good luck to move that. Um, to be honest, um, I'm surprised I found ways to beat her at all for a pretty long time. I thought this strategy was just flat unbeatable. The original Legendary Byleth setups I was looking at just did not work. They were doing like 20 damage to her, which is great and all. It's better than zero, but it's still not enough to actually win. Um, I guess you could theoretically as a third strategy um, because she doesn't have Null C Disrupt. You could theoretically use a staff with, I don't know, Pain or something, maybe Serpentine Staff. Um, deal a whole bunch of out of combat damage? I don't know if that's the best strategy. Um, because with her pretty big HP pool, you're going to have to do that multiple times again to actually bring her low enough to defeat. But if it works, sure. But yeah, basically, Elamine plus save balls combined have pushed the meta into a really tight spot here. This strategy is literally one or two skills away from being just flat out totally completely unbeatable and I don't think that's a matter I want to deal with. Um, so yeah. <laughs> of course the other thing that's obviously going to happen is in a few bands time they're going to release a unit that beats this so look forward to that. But until then Let's hope they don't break the meta game any further. Huh? Hey, at least we still have Dark Season. <laughs>